How to write a scientific report. Hello and welcome to today's lesson. We will look at how to name the different sections of a scientific report, describing the type of content that's in each of these sections. The first one is your title, which is what is the report about? The title contains the fewest possible words that properly describe the contents of the experiment. For example, dissolving sugar, measuring forces, or what if a metal was obtained from a mineral. Next, we have the aim, which is the purpose of the experiment. The aim must be written in the future tense because it is written before the experiment is conducted. For example, to compare how much sugar will dissolve in hot water and cold water. To discover which material is the best insulator. The aim of this experiment is to calculate the rate at which heat energy escapes containers covered in different materials. Next, we have the hypothesis, which is the predicted outcome or an educated guess. An example would be, more sugar dissolves in hot water than it does in cold water. The hypothesis is that the cotton will be the most effective insulator and will therefore be the material that keeps the water warmer for longer than the other materials. So a good idea would be to use if, then, because statements. So if the water is hot, then more sugar will dissolve because sugar particles are more soluble in hot water. It is an explanation of what you think might happen after you have conducted the experiment. The hypothesis must be written in the present and future tense and should include a reason why you think what you think. Be careful! Remember not to use personal pronouns. Write in the passive tense. Materials, which is the list of equipment and chemicals. This section is displayed as a list that shows the quantity of the materials and objects you need and the specific details and measurements of these objects. For example, an experiment might need 5 glass beakers, 5 thermometers and 2.5 litres of hot water. This section includes all the list of chemicals and materials and equipment that you might need for your experiment. After the materials section, you should draw a diagram of the equipment setup. When you do this, make sure you always use a pencil. Don't draw 3D shapes, so all your diagrams need to be in 2D. Label everything and draw neatly. Method, which is a detailed list of the steps in the experiment. The method is your step-by-step -step instructions to tell your reader exactly what to do or exactly what you did. It is a set of instructions that you can follow to carry out the experiment. You can write this in a series of steps that are numbered that the reader can follow through. Variables, or in other words, these are the factors that can change. And there are three different types of variables. The first one is your independent variable. Independent variable is what is being changed. So let's take a look at that example one. How does the amount of light affect the growth of plants? In this example, the amount of light is being changed. So that will be my independent variable. The next type of variable we have is your dependent variable. Dependent variable is what is being measured. So in that example, how does the amount of light affect the growth of a plant? You're measuring how far or how tall the plant will grow. So your dependent variable is your growth of plant. The third type of variable is your controlled variable. Your control variable is being kept the same. We can use the control variable to measure our results and check the accuracy of the experiment. The controlled variable for this example could be the amount of water or the type of fertilizer that is being used. Another example is how does the amount of oxygen in the water affect the oyster population? In this case, we are changing the amount of oxygen in the water. So that will be my independent variable. And what we're measuring is the oyster population, which will be my dependent variable. The control variable might be time or a specific species of oysters in this experiment. Each experiment will have different variables that we can use to make sure that the test being conducted is fair. To conduct a fair experiment, you only change one variable each time. Results are your next section, which are the measurements and observations. We can show the results in different ways. For example, example 1 has the results in your observations where you are just using your senses to describe what is happening. In example 2, the results have been placed in a table. Example 3, the results have been placed in a graph. So you can use graphs, tables or observations to put in your results section. 
Discussion, which is what do the results mean? And this section discusses any issues that happened during the experiment, and it is written in the past tense. Let's look at this example. More sugar was dissolved in hot water than in cold water. A thermometer could have been used to measure the temperature of the water. So here they are discussing what they could have done. The amount of sugar could have been measured more accurately by adding smaller amounts at a time. So they're discussing any issues they have, and you can also discuss what are some future things that you can do to make this experiment more successful. The last section on the science report will be my conclusion, which is a short summary. To start your conclusion, say if the hypothesis was correct or not. You can tell the reader the results of the experiment and suggest any reasons for the results of the experiment. So for example, three times as much sugar dissolves in hot water as in cold water. Or you can give a more detailed conclusion. This report concludes that the reason the bubble wrap was an effective insulator was not due to the material, but instead due to the structure of the material which trapped air. Therefore, air mixed with plastic is the best insulator. Conclusion is a summary of the entire experiment. And there we have it, the different sections of a scientific report. Title, aim, hypothesis, materials, method, variables, results, discussion, and conclusion. Thanks for watching!